Welcome back to Rooted Latinas, your go-to podcast for honest conversations, laughter, and a whole lot of relatable experiences. We're sharing our journey of adapting from a Latino household to life in the U.S., discussing challenges, transforming obstacles, and celebrating personal growth. Welcome back, you guys, to season two of Rooted Latinas. We are your hosts, Maria Rocha, Jamie Tovar, and Mariana Hernandez. How are you, ladies? So, so good. good, yeah. Feeling good and ready for season two. I can't, honestly, I can't believe it. We've already cumplimos un año. Yeah. With Rooted Latinas. Time goes fast One when year. you're having fun. Yep. <laughs> One year in August, right? I think when we started our first yeah. episode. First episode. Mm-hmm. Even looking back at all the episodes we've had, it's been a crazy journey, right? Yeah. Lots of laughs. At some points, we were almost crying. <laughs> You know, yeah, yes. about our stories, how we started the whole season, you know. That's what we started with, the first episodes. We all kind of just told our stories and, you know, how to help uh, the listeners understand, like, how we got molded, right, and all that yeah. stuff. So that was awesome. I got to know a little bit more about everyone. I think especially f- for me personally, getting yeah. to know a little bit more about you, Jamie. Yeah. Uh, and even things I've never heard even from, like, Rocio or Maria, uh-huh. so... I agree. I agree. And we wanted to dedicate this specific episode to that. Looking back, Mm -hmm. doing this for a whole year, what have we learned, um, you know, just from our experiences and really understanding like where we're going and how we're moving forward. So that way we can continue to keep growing and and sharing all of our experiences. Right. Yeah. I'll start. I want to also share like what like my favorite like or which one I thought was, like, fun and stuff, you know, because we mix a little bit of everything in there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So but which one was your most favorite, most fun yeah. episode? I think cuando estamos hablando sobre, uh, like, the beliefs and stuff we have in our culture, like, oh. and, like, you know, we're all just, like, <laughs> laughing at all these, like, uh, funny things, absurd things. But then also, and then learning-wise, I love hearing you guys talk because I know that you guys pay for, um, ¿cómo se llama? your uh um, mentors not mentors oh yeah our coach yeah coaches yeah Yeah. you know life coaches and stuff like that and that's like i love i don't have a i don't pay for a coach right so i love like taking that from you guys i'm like yeah share share all these things that you guys you know are learning with us and our listeners and that's cool and i think i i I look forward to in season two you guys just talking more about that because i feel like there's always something to learn and in everyone but you guys are like learning from the best i know? love that I'm that's honestly a really good episode mm-hmm. like just things that we've learned from our coach um even that like we've had we've have had different coaches yeah and i think it's so crazy just to understand the different like there's so many opportunities and so many ways to build a business yeah that we finally have found one that's like yeah or maybe we can even us. have them on as a guest That'd be cool. Ooh, we could that like would zoom them in or something. We, yeah, zoom them in. I was about to say we, we could fly them in. <laughs> yeah, that's true. We can have our listeners just kind of, you know, get soak that up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, That'd be awesome. I agree. Ooh, I that's a good that. point. What yeah, about you, Mariana? What has been your most fun episode? Jeez, I have to like bring up our just scroll our, back. Scroll back, Literally. yeah. Um, I love all of our fun ones, like the one that's named uh, Shits and Giggles. <laughs> I don't know if I was able to say that. Oops. Um, and then the Sana Sana Colita de Rana. Oh, that one's hilarious. Mm-hmm. But I think it's just a good mix. You know, first season was a lot of good mixes between, like, getting to know a lot about uh, each other, um, the growth, and I think just the self-care, too. Mm-hmm. That really stands out was one of the episodes that we did did yes. and what that means for each individual individual one of us and also being able to share that with our audience mm-hmm. i think it's cu- huge because we're able to learn that way from each other i agree i yeah. agree i'm what like looking you? through these let me see <laughs> i think even just looking through this my favorite part about this whole thing has been just like the the different episodes that at the moment at the time that we were at and even just the season that we were each at, it's like a a whole growth journey talking about like who we are to like mm-hmm. the curses, like, you know, how we grew up to self-care. My favorite one, I would say, hmm, 
I love talking about empowerment with Latinas. So Latinas elevating and empowering other Latinas. Yeah. I think that has that one has been one of my favorite. And of course, like the fun ones, the the one about when we talked about which one was it? La Llorona and like the yeah. spooky stuff are oh, October yeah. one. Halloween, Halloween, yeah. October one. Yeah. Because I get so like one thing about me is like I get scared so easily, but uh-huh. I'm so intrigued by it. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like I always yeah. joke around, like if if I were to be like, I don't know, in a scary situation, like with like a paranormal activity, like I'd be the first one to have them take my soul because I'm so <laughs> vulnerable when it comes to that. But I'd be so intrigued. Uh, I think that has been my most favorite, favorite part. We have we have a lot of good episodes. Yeah. Um, to the audience listening, if you haven't gone back and listened to some of our favorite ones, let us know um, what you guys want to hear for season two. But I think you guys already gave some sneak peeks about what we're mm-hmm. going to be discussing and what our uh, motive is for this season. Um, yeah. But yeah. we'd love to hear from you guys, so let us know. We decided uh, that our season two se va a llamar Sin Mirar Pat. Why did we decide that? Do you guys remember? I don't remember. <laughs> but I think like the title like says it too, like yeah. you know, like we're just moving forward, right? Yes. Taking what we learn and the pieces we want to take with us into growing, you know. Yeah. In this last year, um, we've all personally and whatever gone through some type of change or growth and you know, so Keep elevating each other. I agree. I think it's like to me the title and why we came up to me come came up with that. Like si mirar atrás. I think it's like like you mentioned. Everyone goes through different seasons throughout their lives, and mm-hmm. either certain situations start molding them to think differently or move their life a different direction. Mm-hmm. That I think it, it it's like quit looking back with staying in the you know in the past and just continue to focus and move forward mm-hmm. and that gives room for so many more opportunities to yeah. come to you and hype yourself up like get excited about your future and yes. what's to come and like manifesting all that yeah. good stuff i agree because how many of us like literally we blink and it's at the end of the year yeah right you know and we're not like diciendo, how did a year pass see <laughs> Uh, I think especially now it's a perfect time to just go back and reflect. I think that's yeah. what the name really stands out for me is going back to reflect and, and seeing what have you gone through this year? What went well? What didn't go well? What is going to be different moving forward? And just continue to live in the moment and enjoy those little things, you know, and be grateful every day. So I'm excited. Yeah. I agree. It's a perfect time because we're going into we're what, four months away from 2025. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Holy cow. Um, so even thinking about what can you start developing, what habits or what can you let go now to be prepared into 2025? Because most of yeah. us probably wait literally the day before <laughs> to be like, okay, right. once it hits January 1st, I'm a whole brand new person. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't work that way, yeah. right? Yeah. So I was reading something about that. Have you guys read the book Atomic Habits? I haven't, but I heard it's really good. Yeah. And it was just talking about that, how... Yeah, I'll have to share. I'll have to talk. We'll have to talk more about it. Like books. another yeah. podcast. Yes, yeah. about books. <laughs> about books. Yes. yes, I just finished one that was really, really good. I'm passing it on to the ladies. But about what's leadership. It? Okay, what's it uh, called? The five dysfunctions of a team. Okay, so good. So so what's good. It? Okay. Well, yeah. we're excited. I hope you guys are too. Yep. We're gonna really step it up and bring more of our experiences more of what we're learning because i think together we can grow together yeah and continue to just um speak the things that we know so we're excited i hope you guys are too if there's anything that you guys recommend that you want to hear about us let us know questions yeah while having fun while having yeah. fun yes till next time yes thank yes. you guys bye Bye.